bro. No. No, don't tell me. Vivinos, everybody, finally. After all these months have passed since the first video I made on them, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Jesus Christ. But yes, in today's installment of mentally torturing myself for content, we are gonna be watching my September. Just from looking at the thumbnail, it looks like it's gonna be just absolutely wholesome. But yeah, with that being said, make sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch just to stay updated on what I'm doing and to just have fun and chill, and make sure to subscribe to my second channel where I play Genshin Impact, among other things. Okay, let's get mentally fucked. Okay, here we are. Captions on. Turning the volume way up, because I wanna, I wanna feel this shit. When I say I wanna get mentally scarred, I mean it. Oh wait, it also says in this video there are violent depictions and screen flashes that can cause dizziness. There's your warning, okay. <laughs> Alright, three, two, one. Okay. Oh, wait, it literally says horror warning in the title. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, God. A funeral. A nice looking girl. A pretty traumatized looking girl. Jesus Christ. You look rough, sis. Oh. The funeral, bro. The supposed dead girl. She's very pale. Is that like her ghost or something? girl does not like her. Jesus. The fuck? <laughs> Why was she so disgusted? What an asshole. Ew. Holy shit, she looks demonic. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. She's obsessed with that bitch. Look, you see the reflection in her eyes. Nah, don't tell me. This bitch is a necrophiliac, dude. What the fuck? No. No, and she nutted. Ew! Has the body already, like, fucking decomposed or some shit? No. Oh. Those are her legs, dude. I didn't know what those things were at first. Like, on her shoulders. I didn't know they were her legs. But look. Wait, wait, it's coming. Look! Look, man! 
Okay, no, no, no. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Now that we're here, okay, okay. Maybe she's not nutting. I'm gonna stop saying that. That's fucking weird. <laughs> but it looks like now, like, they're wrapped, what, whatever it, whatever those things are, they're, like, wrapping around her. So, like, maybe she's being choked. I actually can't believe that, though, because, like, she was, okay, apart from this, like, she was definitely doing some weird shit with that body. Music. What the hell? Ew. Okay. 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 <laughs> oh, y'all see that shit? No, yeah, she's crazy. So that's why the girl was disgusted at her. What if she was like that the whole time? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for pausing. But what if she was like like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if she was actually like this the whole time? But like we were made to believe that she was normal, right? She was like okay, and that the the blonde haired girl had like no reason to like be disgusted at her. But th this is how she was looking at her the whole time, and that's why the girl was just absolutely disgusted at her. And she strangled her. I like the music. Is that wrong? Is something wrong with me? Oh, Jesus, she... Oh, she... Oh, she did that. She really did that shit at the end. What the fuck did I just watch, dude? <laughs> I think it was pretty straightforward, though, honestly. So no matter how wrong I am with what I'm about to say, I'm gonna say it with absolute confidence. Okay, so, the black-haired girl was obsessed with the blonde haired girl. It might have started off as like a simple crush, but then it evolved into something a lot more unhealthy. When the girl was caught staring at the blonde haired girl, the blonde haired girl returned like this very disgusted look on her face. I don't know why. I mean, I said I get, okay, okay, well actually, okay. So my guess is that maybe she was like creepy the entire time, but we didn't see that. But that might be a stretch. So let, let's just say that the, the, the blonde haired girl was just maybe a jerk, okay? So she returns that disgusted look and that just like destroyed the girl. Cause like, cause like, I don't know if you guys remember, but like right after that scene, the black haired girl's face was just like, not just sad, but then like in the, in the, um, in one of the later scenes, she had like this very, very tired look on her face, like devastated look. Like she was done with life. Like she knew that she couldn't have her and that drove her like mad. Like yeah, she would spend days just, just stalking the girl on her phone, like pictures. I don't know if you saw like when she was in the bath with that really, really scary looking ass face, just stalking her socials until I guess one day she just had enough. And basically ba what she basically ended up doing or thinking was like, okay, if I can't have you, nobody can. So then that's when she, you know, did the deed and murdered her. And then after that, something I forgot to address is like, there were times when the blonde haired girl that was like next to the black haired girl, like in certain scenes, it was almost like she was glowing or really pale, meaning that that version wasn't real. Like that was like a version of her that was in her mind that was like, I don't know, like an idealized version, a romanticized version of like what could have been that was like in her head, a version that was with her. Then in other scenes, such as like when the blonde girl returned like that nasty look on her face, like that was real, like that was when she was alive. But yeah, then after the black haired girl killed the blonde girl, the black haired girl's imagined version of the, of the blonde girl did not go away and like, continued haunting her after like she did that weird like nasty shit the face went away and like it was just like this creepy like decomposed version of the blonde girl it, it yeah it was just like it was a dead version of her the real version of her now of how she looked like buried under fucking ground until she couldn't take it anymore yeah, yeah, yeah she kept getting haunted until she just she couldn't take it anymore she lost all sense of reason what little reason she had and then just took her own life right there at the end yeah, I think I think that's it. I, I really I genuinely do. I think there's no, it wasn't too complicated, honestly, but I'm, I'm going to read a comment regardless to see if I'm somewhat on the right track. I'm sure I missed something. There was probably like some symbolism in there that I I did. I didn't see at all. <laughs>
fucking Christ. Vivinos. The music was good too. Like <laughs> like unironically like the like the very like it was almost soothing in some parts. I don't know. Like the woman was like whispering to you. Some ASMR shit, some cursed ASMR. 10 out of 10 lesbian love story. Super wholesome, super romantic. <laughs> yeah. Um yeah, wow. In an odd way, I still kind of enjoyed that minus the uh the insanity. That's it. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that shit. Thank you guys for joining me on this, on whatever the fuck this was. And uh, yeah, I'll hopefully see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.